taking inventory. 15 cases. We want to make sure everything's here and on time and in good quality so we can uh, put out a great meal for everybody to enjoy. A tradition of feeding 2,000 people. We got down to three weeks. The problem is when we first started this six years ago, it took us three months of planning. Dan Johnson and Ray Stybex, specialty. And they're at it again, getting ready for their sixth annual Dan and Ray's Rendering Thanks free Thanksgiving meal. You'd normally see an event like this that's geared towards homeless or elder, elderly, but uh, this is open to anybody. The meal has become so popular in the past five years here at Festival Hall, they average about 2,000 people who line up out the doors here, all to spend Thanksgiving together as a community. Happy Thanksgiving! They, of course, have helping hands to make it all possible. 300 volunteers who take their duties very seriously. Right off the top of my head, we're like, hey, uh, just so you know, I work the line. I'm the gravy guy. And a couple of ladies like, we hand out the rolls and, and the butter, you know, so like they have their specific duties. Just two guys from Racine giving back to Racine. Because we care about our community. I thought I was going to miss Thanksgiving at home. I look forward to this. This is my Thanksgiving and Ray's Thanksgiving down here. Yep. One big happy family, and they wouldn't want to spend their holiday any other way. In Racine, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Some food is donated, but Dan and Ray pick up the rest of the tab. The food not used will be donated to the Racine County Food Bank.